Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, I must say, because I woke up at 12, so today is March 23rd, it's 12.40, um, I'm getting ready to go to Offerman, Georgia with my church, and um, yeah, it's a yearly trip that we do, we just go there, we have a campground, um, I'll show you guys more as we, we go. Um, like I said, it's 1240, um, we're supposed to leave at five, um, right now I'm just trying to pack some clothes for this trip, and I realized that I don't really have a lot of clothes, well, appropriate, well, my clothes are appropriate, I just don't have clothes that's church appropriate, if you understand, like, my skirts, like, I have skirts, but the length of the skirt is not appropriate to wear and um yeah or the skirts that I do have that I wear to church my skirts are very long and you can't I'm it's not a church thing it's like regular activities but the rule at my church is only skirts so yeah I'm trying to find I have a black one and I found a gray one that I still had I'm pretty I thought I gave it to the goodwill so thank god I didn't and, um, I need one more skirt, maybe like a jean skirt, which I don't have. So I think I'm going to need to stop by the store. Um, yeah, we, the bus is supposed to pull out at five and and I think I'm getting picked up from my house like around four or something. So if I were to do anything, I would have to do it now. But before I do anything, I'm going to continue to look for a skirt because I'm pretty sure there's a 100% chance that I do have a skirt that's here that, you know, whatever. I have two skirts I have that I may just wear just for the hay of it. I have a black and white one, but the length is, I ain't trying to offend nobody, you know what I'm saying? It's black and white. I have a, I have two of them. So, I have a blue and white one here and a black and white one here. And it comes, it comes like to my knee, but the, the, the letter that they sent out said, um, below the knee. But, seeing how I really don't want to go to the store, I may just... <coughs> Wear this skirt like going up on the bus so that we're all sitting down and everything and I'll have my blanket so I can cover my legs with it. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And yeah, this is what I'm wearing. And my, my theme that I'm wearing this, um, just for this trip is for two days. It's God is dope. So the, all the apparel that I have is merch from God is Dope, all my shirts that I'm wearing, I have a hat to go up one, um, I just bought Bree some, but it's up in Orlando, I was just up there, I came back down yesterday, like around 6pm, and I'm leaving again, so I haven't even been here, 24 hours, I'm going to Georgia, and then I'll be back in Orlando Monday night, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to just pack up my bag, seeing how I don't need to go to the store anymore. I'm going to pack up my bag, chill out for a little bit, you know, fold up some clothes and stuff that I have here, and go forward from there. So, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so, <clears throat> it's a little after five. I'm supposed to be at church at five, but I'm not. My ride just got here. Put this on my neck, me. <laughs> Ready for the road. You already know. So yeah, I'm going to offer man. I'll see you guys when I get to church. Alright. My camera's on. Yes. It is 7.40. We are in the Pompano bus station or whatever the heck you want to call this. And we have not been picked up yet. We were supposed to be at church by 5 to leave. I guess around 6 o'clock. They have not left. They're still waiting on the bus driver. It is 7.40. Oh, 
740 on the dot. 740. And they have not been picked up yet. So, well, they haven't even moved because the bus driver's not there. I'm about to go home and throw this whole trip away. But this is ridiculous. I said if they're not here by 815, I'm going home. I'm literally going home and I'm not even playing no game. Because I'm hungry, my food is on that bus, getting hot and soggy. Because hey. I'm pretty sure the bus is not on. Do you leave, can I have your food? Yeah, if I leave, yeah, you can have my food. But it's going to be hot and soggy. Um, yeah, I'm hungry, I got a headache. Yeah, me too. Anyway. Not true. Ugh. We shall see. Okay. Open your eyes. Yeah, you open today. Well, I think you was wrong. Who is she? Right. Keep her. Oh. I can't hear. Yeah, it's a lie. I'm listening. I'm listening. It's too dark, bro. It's not gonna work. Yeah, so All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I wasn't talking to y'all. Talking to the vlog. <laughs> yeah, it is Saturday, March 24th. Hey, mama. Hey. I'm with the girls. Abby and Shelly, Shelly getting right. <laughs> I woke up, I went across the street to get some McDonald's because you already know I'm hungry. I don't even eat McDonald's on a regular basis, but this seems to be the closest thing. And then I can't find the guys who's supposed to take me to the pancake house. So. And they went too. They went? And they went. Oh, see? Just, ugh. all right. So let me eat, and when I come back, we'll all be dressed and we'll look like somebody. Ain't that right, Shelly? <laughs> All right, vlog, this is what I got on today. I got on my Goddess Dope hat, Army Fatigue, with my olive green Goddess Dope shirt, a skirt, and some Hirachis. Yep, so we going to the campground in a little bit. Let me show you what my dog Carrie got on. Carrie, Nike down. Nike, she got a Nike shirt. <coughs> Holy Ghost skirt, some tights, and my dog got on some Vans. The other two girls, they went to their friend's room. But yeah, that's it, we chilling, we just waiting on them to tell us to let's go. There ain't no point in sitting out there if they not ready. So, yeah, when we get on the bus, I'll vlog so you guys can see more people who's gonna be in the vlog. That's it. We get on the bus. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Morning, everybody. Morning, morning, morning. Morning. Hi, hello. Hi, sir. Excuse me. God bless you. You might have told the wrong person. See, she's kind of aggressive. What's the shirt? Shirt of what? Good morning, Renee. Morning, girl. I bought the shirt for $10 at the Goddess Dope store. To the Goddess Dope Store. The Goddess Dope Store is in Atlanta? Uh, There's a like, very, very pretty, um, girl wearing these. Do they have a Jesus huh? Dope Store? Yeah, say what you need to say. I praise the Lord Church. Um. <laughs> yeah, delete it. My name is Brother Audrey. <laughs> uh-huh. And, um, today we will be glorifying the Lord in, um, in shorts. In shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a hat. Yes, we're showing these to you guys. Alright. Dang. Layton, what you need to say to the camera? You gotta stop throwing up some gang signs. This is, this, we are of the Lord. He said squaddles. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P. Look at Gabby. <coughs> Y'all look at my friend. Look like we actually heading on the bus now. On the bus? Yeah. Give me a piece of ice. I shouldn't even be eating ice. My whole throat hurt. All right, everybody, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Brockford. Sup? On it. You good? This is Slim, guys. No. AKA Brockford. Don't play back. <coughs> Stay cool. 
And your knee, look at your knee and then your foot. Huh? I said your knee and then your foot. It's a cut, I'm trying to leave it open. Oh. All right. Thanks so her knee and her uh, Petty cost of tabernacle. Say hi, Ethan. Good. Kaden, say hi. Hi. They jumping up and up and down on the bus. This is some good birth control. For real. Say hi. <laughs> you ready to go play? Go play. All right. All right, let's listen to Kim, okay? Touch your ears. Touch your ears. Touch your ears. It's time to listen. It's time to listen. All right, Kaden. Be quiet. No, don't go over there by the fire. Hey. Hi, Robert. Yeah, man, I'm finna vlog. All right, this is the house, guys. Show y'all what we got going on here. Huh? Vlog? Everybody should have ate breakfast. We shouldn't be hungry right now. This is a little house. And the rooms and stuff. Pastor was here last night cleaning up and doing ting and ting. In the bathroom there. Welcome to the house. very mad. Very man friendly. You will recognize very quickly. This is Grace, guys. Say hi, Grace. Hi. 
Good. Grace, Grace. Hey, oh, I'm about to say, I'm, I'm putting you on the vlog, taking off them clothes, boy. Doo doo. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. All right. Look at Ethan. Him riding him bike. <laughs> But yes, guys, look at this idiot. <laughs> here, here we are at the campgrounds. There's so much. I'm coming way out here to show you everything. This is like the little house that we built to put here on the yard on the land. I don't know what this is going to be, this big building. It's probably going to be the church. But hold on. All right, so basically, this is from what I remember. I'm not too, too sure about the story. I don't know how true the story is. But I believe um, our church and I believe some other pastors as well purchase this land so that you know every year we go to like college campuses and stuff for to have church camp where we all gather together but they bought this land so that we could have our own campgrounds like so we don't have to keep renting out for the renting the colleges for camp and we had this land for quite some time and you know we haven't really done that much with it but you know we start to come out here every year We've started it from last year to come out here every year so that we won't forget the vision and stuff that Pastor has planned, has planted for us to do. So, I don't know, I'm gonna confirm, but I believe like this would be like the sanctuary or maybe like a dormitory. I'm not too sure. But all where you see this red stuff is where this is all the land that we own. So even over there, sir, we own all of that over there. Now let me show you, we have more land going back towards that way. So I'll probably speed this up so you guys can see me speed walking over there. And by the way, like, um, ow! Pastor, Pastor them was here last night. You know, they usually like cut the, anytime we're coming, they come up here. Well, they do it like maybe like once every three months, but they come, they cut the grass and you know, they make everything nice for us so that, you know, we're not walking in trenches or whatever. So they do keep up everything here. They make it look really nice. So that's a plus. And like, even though we come here for like two days, it's like a nice little getaway trip for some people who just don't want to be stressed out. Like a nice little weekend trip. So I can't wait to see the outcome when we actually get to work. And maybe in a few years, but hey, I can say, you know, I was here when this all started. So I don't know exactly what all we will be doing today but of course i will be vlogging it but yeah this is the other sign this sign says no swimming of course um i think pastor put this like in here or it came like this but i'm pretty sure he put it there and they go in there and they clean it out like some true Jamaicans. So yeah, all of that over there, all of that back there. Last year, we did the bonfire way back there. Well, not last year, a few years before. Last year, we did the bonfire right there and nearly burn up ourselves. Let me zoom back out. Yeah. We also owned that over there. I remember like a few years back, I had 
burnt off my shoe stepping on coal and I was like, ow, my foot is hot. And I realized I literally burned off my boot. But yeah. So, look at them, the guys are coming over to fish. In the water, I don't know if they're gonna eat the fish, but me not eat it. So, let's go back, let's go fellowship with everybody, see what they have going on. And then, go from there. What you doing? No, I'm not I'm not touching that nastiness. No, 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 we're not gonna make it touch it. Y'all gonna take it out and look at it and and cook it. No, that's foolishness. About to get these sports going, you feel me? Yeah. Your boy flexing. <laughs> get right. Squad. Say what's up to the makings of a queen, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe. Like, comment, share, share. I don't live in Wakanda. Tell your parents. Tell All your parents, of that. parents. And your dogs. Oh. oh. Pasta. Brief message for the YouTube people. Uh, no. <laughs> Malik, he's retired. <laughs> Let's go see the real queen. You know what I'm saying? She hard at work. Let's go take a little visit. Where's she at? Yup, yup. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, the queen. Hey y'all, I'm making salad. <laughs> she made it. She's getting the food ready. Hey, get that cool? Chris. All right, this is my team. This is my team, the blue team. Our name is Victory. All right, squad. All right, this team right here. This the Holy Rollers, the yellow team right here. Oh. They picked it. We didn't. We didn't say nothing. Ramon. Oh, if they fall, you gotta pick them back up.
Y'all, she's such a great student. Yes, girl. Service, what you want to eat? Y'all, so hamburger. We about to go Hello? grub. And oh, go in the line right here. Right? You wash your hands? What's going on? All right, now we playing block, kickball. Bro. Yeah, man. She gotta put her on the block, bro. Yo, stop the foolishness, Frederick. All right. No, I think right here. This even right here, Kai. Right here with um Sally. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's this way, right? All right. What What's the name of this team again? Holy Rollers is going to kick the balls off to us. And the victory, we are going to lose, right? Yes, so. Because we have all these women and Javon is sleeping. So let us try a thing, yeah. All right. All right. We have chicken and rib and corn and potato salad and baked beans. From moving forward, period. Something that's keeping you from moving forward, period. We give it so much power. That you give it power that it should be so simple to get it out. The flesh, Loki, don't want it to go. The flesh, you not want it, and there's so much of that that we have, and we don't. But I want you to be honest with yourself tonight, and I want you to write everything. <coughs> I don't care who you are; you have something. And some of us have some stronger stuff that we try to blend in with the church and hide it very well, thinking, mask it very well. But God see that crap. Stop it. But tonight, we want to get rid of it. But they're not just that, though, because we do this all the time. What are we going to do? How are we going to stop it? How are we, we going to just stop it? She said, just stop it. Mm -mm -mm. No, not no work. Work. So what are we going to do? One at a time. What are we going to You said, what? Who said Be what? How? How we get to deliverance? How, how we get to that point? Huh? Not deliverance. Um, Deliberate. Oh. Oh, like change your ways, like change, day by day. Close. Change the way you think about. All right. Or change who you hang out with. Change who you hang out with. Surrounding. Step by step. That's a good one. Yes. There it is. That's what I wanted to hear. Change your mindset. That will help with everything else that you just said. You'll be deliberate. You'll watch who you chill with. You'll stay away certain things. You won't watch certain things. You won't do certain things. You won't go to certain places. Because you know, if you change your mindset for real, that little thing will not get you to that point, will not mess you up. Let me, let me, let me even go back a little further when I was in, um, before we even go out there and do anything, I want you to search some things. Some things that you even hide deeply inside that you don't even think you remember anymore. That's dead. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You gotta go. You gotta find them. And then we gotta, we gotta actually, as a team, as a youth, we need to find a way to keep going and, 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 and make this thing work. We can't just talk about it one time. What are we gonna do next? How are we gonna make sure we don't continue to go back? And you guys, find, and then the, the sad thing is, we're doing it in the church, and then we talk back about the church. You, the church. You the church, but we talking bad about the church. You the church. So uh, what? What? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, man? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of. I, I haven't been like you guys. You, so you got born in this thing. Yeah, I was born in it, but not Pentecostal or whatever. Like you guys, our religion and deep and stuff. That's not me. But are we gonna take it seriously though? that you do not trade your future for present satisfaction. I'll, he said, how do we get over this and how do we get through this stuff? Stop trying. There it is. Didn't we have a sermon about that? No. <laughs> well, not you. <laughs> no, you wasn't there. Stop trying. And what I mean by that is, you 
will never be able to get over it on your own. And Jesus is not looking for you to prove that you can get over it on your own. The Bible says that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. So before we were in a state to be fixed, he already died. Come on. What we need to do is stop trying to fix ourselves in order to make ourselves acceptable to Jesus Christ. You will never be acceptable to God. He is holy and we are not. He is otherworldly and we are not. What we need to do is come to him in our mess and foolishness and say, God, here am I. I know I was, I'm still young. I was going to say I was young. <laughs> when I was younger, you, you, we all struggle with the same stuff. Let's, not, let's be real here. And you just be like, okay, let me just do this and do this. And let me mark this off and let me not watch this. Even in trying all of that, if you try to do it without giving it to God, it will fail. Mm -hmm. Even you won't watch nothing, you won't hear nothing, you won't see nothing, but the sheer fact that you're doing it in your own strength, you will fail. Amen to that. So even in the moments where you're tempted and, and you feel the urge, you're like, God, you know that if you don't help me, I'm going to help you. And in those moments, you will be surprised. Something just as simple and crazy as that, and the urges are gone. And you can go about your day. But I've been in church all my life, and I've seen the same group of young people, different faces, different ages, same problem. Mm -hmm. And this issue is always the same. Especially from our faith background, we think we need to fix ourselves. You will never fix yourself. But if you let Christ fix you, it's okay. And there will be days we mess up. God knows this. There are no perfect people. He was the only perfect one. But even in the moments of messing up, get back up. There it is. If you messed up a week ago, and they ask you to do something a week later, if you have repented and asked God to help you, you are in a place to go up there a week later. Yeah. Everybody else here but you, because you can see our hearts, you know our hearts, and you know what we're thinking right now in this second. So if it's to portray to be anything, you know what I'm saying? Keep the paper, keep the paper for yourself. Go home with it. Eat it if you need to. But if it's time, if you're serious about it, deliver it, throw it at you. It's not going to be the same you. You know, it's part of it today. And meditate on that. And give God your all. Stop giving what happens. If you give your all just like you give to everything else to God, you'll see what God will do. We don't know the half of what he's going to do if we give him our all. So, you ready? God, God said, burn it up. Burn it up. So, you guys are good. When you feel free, think about it, meditate, and then go ahead, all right? All right, it's all right. That's all right. What you just said? It's all right. I'm ready to let it go. Yes, Lord. Do the work, Jesus. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, March. March. It's March 25th. We are getting ready to leave. Offerman, let me show you black shirt. <laughs> show you my outfit. So God is dope shirt. It says God's plan. God's plan. A hey. skirt, some vans. We got Carrie here, looking like a bum. We got Abby. She chilling. All right, I'm about to go put my stuff on the bus and go to McDonald's and get some breakfast. We're supposed to leave at 11. And the time is 10.53. <laughs> but we shall see. But I'm going to go bring my stuff down so nobody will have to call my name. And I'll see y'all downstairs. All right, so last night, I'll just tell you guys while I'm walking. I don't know if you guys heard. But basically, um, we came... And because I put like, I'm going to put bits and clips so it might be chopped up. But basically, we were talking about, you know, um, the stuff that we struggle with. Um, not specifically, you know, nobody really didn't say what it was. Specifically, morning, that, you know, they, they were struggling with. But we were trying to come up with solutions and ways to 
us um, get over our strongholds and our struggles that we have. And even Malik was saying, um, in other words, he was saying to stop trying on our own account. Like, give our mess to God and the stuff that we struggle with. And Ramon even added on to what Malik said and was like, yeah, give it to God, but continue to, you know, be steadfast. Like, we know that God can do the work, but, you know, continue on with that. And I was even giving my little testimony that it wasn't, like, a big, big struggle for me. Like, it wasn't, like, um, thank you. It wasn't, like, um, like, sexual struggles that I have, but it was, you know, with me moving forward in my calling and, everything else that I had going on and you know just to be better for my age of overcome that. So we all wrote down some of our struggles and our um, struggles that we have and we wrote them down and we threw them into the fire so that you know like we were leaving that all behind and we're just moving ahead. So that was our night. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. No, it's okay. You can go. Um, we are now at well, McDonald's. I'm about to order some breakfast to eat. I'm on the bus and go, with, go forward from there. So when I get back, I'll show you guys what I have. It's even worse in college. It's like, bro, why am I here if you're going to have go off on a Some people they went, we dropped them off over there to get some. How? Get like they got some some Wendy's or like McDonald's or whatever. So they <coughs> we dropped them off there. So now we're going to Panda to get something to eat. Yo. I've been sleeping since we got 
on the bus. Like, it's not even funny. So maybe since, like, 12 o'clock I've been sleeping and I just woke up. I do not feel good. My throat is killing me. I've been coughing nonstop. I don't know what to do with my life. But when I get home, <coughs> I'm going to take some more medicine and go from there. <sighs> yep, that's about it. All right, guys, the time is 10.45. <coughs> I just got home. I am so tired. I feel like crap. I'm going to make my grandma <coughs> make me some tea. Um... Overall, it was a good trip. Um, what else? Yep, we enjoyed the company of everybody. Just being around everybody, fellowshipping, having a good old time. And yeah, that's it for this vlog. Maybe you'll see some more vlogs. I don't know. Let me. I'm just going to try to get better right now. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.